Hi guys, this is a video on Windows tips. Now previously I did a video on um, make having multiple wallpapers on your desktop and you could basically have a collage and um, you could have you could resize and move them where you wanted, things like that. And I also did a video on having a web page as your desktop wallpaper. Now I'm going to be talking about having some videos and uh, games on your desktop um, without needing to download any widget style things or anything like that because it's all done through the power of Active Desktop. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go onto YouTube. Now they they seem to be having they're, they're doing maintenance on their website at the moment. So what I'm going to do I can't actually message anyone or upload anything at the moment. So what I'm going to do is uh, you can see I've got my channel video here. I'm just going to click on it and pause it so you don't have to watch it. And it says here it's got my name and it's got when I joined blah blah blah. And it says here is a video blah blah blah. And you'll notice it says here embed. Now what I'm going to do is click this. And I'm going to control C it, so I'm going to copy it, so you might want to go right click copy. And um, close Firefox. Then I'm going to go new and text document for the time being, just for the time being. And then we're going to go into it. And then we're going to paste it. And it's now pasted it into Notepad. We're going to save it, close it. Now you could go and save as and then put the this in quotes, um, YouTube.html. It's just another way to save it. And it says, if you change blah, 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 yes. And now it's an HTML file. So, we now want to be able to get this on our desktop. So we're going to go right click, properties, desktop tab. This may be different for Vista users, so I'm not sure. Um, customize desktop, web. We're going to say new. That says you can add live, web, blah, blah, blah. And then we're going to go to browse, and then we're going to go to desktop, and then YouTube. Press OK. OK again. OK again. And you'll notice that it's loaded up my YouTube video. Yay! It works. So I'm just resizing that so you can see the whole video. And if you want to play it or whatever, you can also move it around, maximize it, whatever you want to do. But for the time being, we don't want to maximize it. Uh, the next thing is live video. Now, uh, if you know someone called Chris Perillo, he's basically a guy who talks about computers. And he basically streams his life online. I'd never want to do that. As much as I like making videos, I wouldn't like to stream myself online. Uh, that's the wrong one. I'm going to go on live.perillo.com. And you'll see it says Chris is working. This is what one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning over there, because it's nine in the morning here, <laughs> one forty-one a.m. and it's still working. Right, okay. So, and you know, the reason I've gone on this page um, is because you can embed videos. Uh, so we're doing the embed embed method again, and we're just going to copy this, click and copy, and now I can get out, come out of this. Make uh, you can put it into this HTML file underneath the code you did, but you'll note that if you do that it will just come underneath this one but what we want to do is have things that you can move around so right click new text document it's exactly the same as we did last time paste it in save well you can actually this time I'll show you the save as method you go, you go save as and then in quotes I'm going to put in stream.html and uh, in quotes and then save it to the desktop and then it's got an html file here so you can delete the original text document that's closing this and um, if I double click this, opens in Firefox and it will show his live stream. Uh, we're not going to do that for the time being, we're just going to get on the desktop. So all we need to go is new, and no, we don't we go properties, desktop, customize desktop, web, new, browse for location, go to desktop, stream, OK, OK, OK. And here we have our live streaming. So we've now got a Live streaming, well, if I press play, obviously. <laughs> We've got a live streaming here of Chris Perillo. And we've also got a YouTube video. Now, next up is um, we'll go for a Flash game. Now, firstly, I need to grab the HTML coding to make a Flash game. So if I say HTML, um, HTML SWF. And it says Flash and HTML. So uh, I'll reference this link in the description so you can copy it. And uh, all we're going to do is uh, check stage four and then just copy this part of it. And I'm then going to make go back and make up my little text document, paste it in. I'm going to save it for the time being, but then I'm going to go back to Firefox. And I like playing Pac-Man. I'll just pause this live streaming here. Go away. There. Is it stopped? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go. I like Pac-Man, so I'm going to say Pac-Man. And you'll see it's got a flash file here. I'm going to click it, and this is the address I want. It's got to have SWF on the end. 
so you can embed it into your own page. So make sure you get Flash here. Um, just click it, you'll have your game start. And I'm just going to copy the link of this SWF file, close Firefox, and I'm going to rename these where it says some file name. I'm just going to paste it into here, into both bits. So there we go, save it, and then I'm going to rename it to an HTML file. I'm going to call it pacman.html. Now, I don't know if I said this before, these, these don't have to be put on the desktop because you may think, oh no, I've got to keep them on the desktop. So, um, so these work, but you don't, you can put them anywhere because you're going to be referencing to whatever place it is um, later. So um, I've now got the Pac-Man, it's ready to go. If I double click it, just to make sure, it comes up with Pac-Man. Now all I need to go is right click, desktop, exactly the same thing, desktop, customize desktop, web, new, browse, desktop, Pac-Man, so it's in this new desktop icon, okay, okay, and now we have Pac-Man, now we know it's a little bit small but we can just resize that, and so this is getting games, a game, a YouTube video, anything that you can embed into an HTML file, uh, these are just examples so you might want to just use these anyway, but you might, might be able to do other things, I think I'll make another video because there's something else I've just had an idea of that um, you can use uh, Active Desktop for. Um, but anyway, so we've got live streaming, we've got a YouTube video, and we've got a game. Now, you'll notice when you drag your mouse just over the top, you've got this bar, and you can maximise it and do several things. And you can also put, uh, if I put this live streaming video, uh, if we can get to the top of it, there we go, I can actually have it under my icons if I really wanted to, and then I can actually still use my icons to... to um, to use and obviously when I come back it reloads everything so um, that's uh, what you can do but what happens because uh, every time I go over the top of these it's going to keep coming up with this um, bar and I don't want it to do that so I right click property oops right click properties and we go to uh, desktop again customize desktop web and there's an option here to prevent moving or resizing of web items on your desktop select the following checkbox block desktop icons okay okay and now there's no bar and I can't move them. So they'll all keep in the same place. Now, um, you haven't really got much choice in terms of uh, this uh, white background around the outside. I mean, you might be able to resize it so it just fits, but usually it goes into a scroll bar. So, um, but better than nothing, isn't it? You can get a YouTube video, a live streaming, and a um, game all on your desktop at exactly the same time, and you don't have to download anything extra to get it. So. Uh, thanks for watching my video, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos, and thanks again.